If I had to describe myself, I would say that I am high maintenance. I am obsessive compulsive. I am, I don't know what to say about myself. She's intelligent. She has a great sense of humor. Most of all, the thing that I admire the most about her is her strength and determination. My life is, is very full and very satisfying. You can really do anything you want to do. It just takes a little bit of time and creativity to figure out how to make it work. We've done quite a bit of traveling. We've even done international traveling. And when we travel in hotels, it's always interesting what we do to the rooms. We always wonder what the housekeeping thinks when they come in. You know, we move everything off the walls, move the furniture to... Hang sterile water for the humidifier. And there's all kinds of weird equipment. And Closes and tubes. We definitely have had our share of adventures when we've been trying to get out in the world and engage in society. In February of 2002, my senior year of high school, we had traveled down to California to visit my uncle with his two children and we were on our way back. And I was driving a car full of almost my entire family. The car started rolling and I remember the last thought that I had before I lost consciousness was that I just killed a car full of people that was made up of my family. But you didn't. And I don't know how much time later I woke up in the car hanging upside down to a man asking me if I could move my legs. And I remember staring at my legs and not being able to move them and being really, really frightened. Well, when we first found out that Loa wasn't going to get off the ventilator. It was very frightening. They wanted us to take her home on this ventilator that weighed more than I could lift at the time. And I thought, oh my God, how are we gonna take her home? How are we gonna take care of her? How am I going to do all of this? The knowledge that you have now become dependent upon a machine to live, it's a tough, a tough pill to swallow. And I think that was able to sort of accept that that was my reality. But, you know, on a hard day when you're sad and things aren't going your way, it's, it is frustrating to feel tied and bound to a machine and have extra holes in your body. It's not really very glamorous. It was hard, but we have an amazing family and our families rallied around us and we made it through and decided to live the best life that we can. I think she's done a really good job with that. The fall following, my injury immediately enrolled at Seattle Pacific University and ended up getting a degree in history. Before my injury, my dream had always been to go to medical school and my cousin, we were having a conversation one day and he's like, Loa, you can still do that if you want to. So I went back to school. If everything goes according to plan, I should be able to finish after the autumn quarter with my physiology degree, which I'm very much looking forward to do as much as I've enjoyed school. 15 years is a really long time. And I think I'm ready to be a grown up. Another big concern about being on a ventilator was the life of the battery and going out and living life, which has made Voxen like gold for us because it lasts. I would say the biggest impact is just the streamlining. Moving from a big clunky battery with the ventilator bouncing off the battery to one device that's self-contained, that's modern looking. The portability and the compactness of it and it's light and it's simple to use. Looking forward in life, I just want to 
do something meaningful and valuable with my life and I've sort of tried to figure out a way to do that and now that I have become a part of Fintech and what they're doing I feel like I have found an opportunity to do something and to help other people and I feel very fulfilled by that. I don't fit the box or follow the rules. If you tell me that my condition means that I'm gonna be like this or that, I will set about proving you wrong because I'm just too darn stubborn to listen to what anybody says that I should be or should do or that I'm going to be a certain way because this is what life's handed me. She needs tea. My tongue is good. <laughs>